but you you were getting. I mean, you said you were, you you did TLC. You did New Edition. You, you, you know, Lionel Richie's. Did, did that those those doors start to open a lot wider when you walked away from the recording side? Um, did those doors come up and people said, you know, were you, were you getting a lot of opportunities more so to be invited as the music director? Oh yes, I mean I've gotten a lot of calls because they they're getting a recording a artist you. producer in his prime. That's very rare because most of the music directors, you know, they're, they're vets, you know, and yeah. and, and, and they would think yeah. that it would be they, as much as they're, they're a safe pair of hands, but to be more expansive and, and really change things up, you're probably, you know, the ideal type of, you know, getting a producer um, and musician on a, uh, as your music director is probably one of the best kind of opportunities. So people must have been like, oh, he's available. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you know, Lionel kind of makes that hard for everybody else because he's, you know, he's like, okay, I got Chucky here. I'm going to make sure that when I need him, I can get him. So <laughs> okay. he knows okay. that. So, <laughs> oh, so he goodness. makes it difficult for everybody else, you know. We, 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 um, so, but so after Janet's tour and you did the games and and the album who was the who was the first person that when you walked away when i the first person i worked with was when i walked away from uh the games thing well, that was 92 that it would be uh tevin campbell i was his musical director oh, so i worked did, with tevin campbell when he was promoting i'm ready can we talk yes all of that yes yes i put that tour together he opened up for uh for boys to men Wow. Yeah. So were you were you the whole tour just for his sets that you No for the whole tour. I mean I mean no, I mean for his set only. Okay. Yeah. His mom was really cool. She gave me free reign to just really work with him and you know, get him in the show form and and I did that. And then the crazy part was Hipper, who was the lead singer for the band Tease that I was in, he was singing background with boys I mean with uh babyface. Cause, which was the second uh, act to go on, which was really crazy. So it was, <laughs> it was Tevin Campbell first, Babyface, who was baby. He, he rocked that that tour, man. He was killing it, man. Wow. Hipper was singing background for, it, and then it was Boys to Men. Wow. That was the tour. It was a good, a great tour. Yeah, well, that that does sound big. I mean, but then there's no part of you thinking, oh, you didn't. Sing promote games, or you didn't go on tour with that for that. I was gone by then. I was like, I'm out. Wow. So, and 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 I've seen you've done other things, but you know, right now there's been a big revival for '90s and '80s acts yeah. going on tour. You started something called University. Can you tell yes. us what 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 what? You know, because most people still think, oh, Chucky, let's have him play, turn around, turn away, and and all this <laughs> stuff, but instead. It's almost like you listen, you go, it's feel very funk sort of parliament type of stuff. So how did, <laughs> why did you decide to go away from the sounds that we would, we knew and bought from you to a different type? You know, just, just being a musician, you know, it's like, I just like to try different things and, you know, I just wanted to be different. I didn't want to keep doing the rehash the same sound over and over and over again, even though that is a, a known formula that works for you but just for me i'm just different like that i'm just different i didn't want to do the same thing over and over again you know the same chords with different artists over and over and over again it's like i that was not my mentality at the time i wanted to test myself you know and and just try different things so how did you so how what did you do when you were trying to come up with universities you just who did you how did you just get the group together the first it won't, it was basically, I mean, the group was already together. It was like, because, you know, we did the Janet tour together. Oh, so it was the, so it was okay. the same band. Yeah, it's the same band. I just said, hey, let's take what we got here. You know, we got University actually a deal uh, with Atlantic Records. <laughs> we, we cut like 14 songs. But again, it was the <laughs> whole thing with you know, the, the contractually, the guys, and I was agreeing with them, it didn't work out because, again, the manager wanted to 
control the budget, go through Atlantic Records, that whole spiel thing about, well, you know, this is a start, this is how you get in. No, man, no, no, no. <laughs> so it, it just, you know, it just didn't work out and it never came out, never came out. The guys rarely got, they really didn't get paid like they should have. But of course, all that money for the budget and everything went to the production company, of course, and they kept all that money, of course. That, that was just the design of how business was being ran back then. I couldn't get the deal without, I could have tried to go to another record company and say, hey, we got our own production deal, but it never would have worked because we didn't have the direct connection at that time with the record companies such as the manager did at the time so uh, but even with your successes and, I, and i'm not and like i said i'm not dogging him i'm not dogging the manager saying oh man you know he, yo, he did us wrong that was the business practice of it and we were just i was just a, i started to learn more about how that deal went by and my whole thing is like man if dude if you were to teach me how it goes down I would still be your manager to this day and everything I would have made, you could have gotten 15% of everything I made up until 2023. But yet, no, it's like, no, we're going to do it the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to get all the money that I can and basically F you and you just, whenever you learn, you learn. <laughs> That's not how, I, you know, I don't do business like that. But unfortunately, every 90% of the people I've spoken to, that was how they had to learn the hard way. That's how you like, have, that. that's oh, the way why? you learn. But why though? I mean, why should you? Because it's not like I said. It's a European vision of how you do do business. It's it's a Eurocentric form of entertainment industry building. That's a, that's what it is. It's that's because that's where it came from. Not to say that's a bad thing or a good thing. It's just that's just the way it is. But and it didn't matter if you were white or black. In, in order to be a part of that industry, you have to follow this engine. So, but the way I saw it was, hey, you teach me how to eat and how to make this happen. The other deals that I get, I will get you a part of that. And you'll get your fifteen percent, but teach me how to do it morally, ethically. Yeah. Don't do it the way where you just straight raming me. You know what I'm saying? That's not. Yeah. Come on, man. And that's why us as black people can't get ahead. Yeah, because. The people who are in the game that are black are following that same engine that the white people are doing, that they're getting over on you. Mm -hmm. So, again, like I said, I don't have no ill will towards Raymond Shields, the manager. It's just that you followed a specific design and how you do it. You know, I, I heard that he said, oh, well, you know, this is the way that he took it, you know, he could have took that contract to the manager or, or I mean, took it to a, an attorney and he got everything right. But what they don't tell you is the fact that, dude, the, the, the attorney that you signed me to, you're connected to him. That's what, that's a conflict of interest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all bullshit. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's true. You know, trying to make it seem like, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. Of course you did. <laughs> yeah. Don't make it seem like it's, it's all my fault. I'm a young kid coming up. You're supposed to do right by me by teaching me how to do it the right way. So when I make other deals that happen, you can be a part of that and you can get your 15, 10, 15, 20% up until now. But no, you chose to do it that way and to do it the way that you wanted to. Don't sit here making like it's all my fault because I'm 20... Four twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. Yeah, FOH man. <laughs> but if you were if you were a baseball player or, or football player, it, they, they seem to get all their money up front. They take care of them. They don't. They they. That's a totally that, different. That's a totally different industry. Yeah, but, but as I said, it's talent. Totally different industry. Their talent. Your ta musicians are talent. Actors. They. You know. They. They seem to. You know. Once they get in, they get their contracts. That, like they see how valuable they can. But totally different. Man. It was it was a total different engine back then, a monster back then, like it is now. It is. It's totally different. It's totally different. Totally different, man. But again, like I said, it's a learning experience for me with work, dealing with, you know, those people back then. It was just a learning experience. But the fact is, it's, it's just that you had to learn that way. 
yeah. where you have to lose a lot of money and where you have to lose integrity, where you have to lose uh, respect for people. You know, I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have to like turn into a, an attorney. I shouldn't have to be this. You should be willing to just say, hey man, this is what the real game is. Yeah, That's how my godfather, that's why I allowed that to happen because Dealing with my godfather, he kept it 100, man. He said, this is what the real game is, you know, in certain areas of this. But as I got into it, the game had changed a little. Mm. So I'm going with somebody that's okay. He's obviously, you know, he, he knows what's up. He's telling me this is what it's about. This is what it's like. It's not like I have a production company, but then my production company is signed to his production company who actually has the, the deal to the uh. label. Yeah, yeah. So That's they get, how they did it back then. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, yeah. So, what happens is, so after the, the label, first album, gave, I was already like, okay, all uh, right, I see you. You know what's up? Okay. But so it shouldn't label, even have to get. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't even have yeah. to get to that, man. You know, it shouldn't even have to. I learned quickly, so I'm like, okay. And then, of course, you know, I go and I meet with the attorney who's, you know, and he's like, well, hey, man, this is what it's like, and you know, you have to do this. <laughs> It's like you tied in with him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all, it was all a game, man. And that's all this industry is, is a game. It's a game. Yeah. It's a game. And the way you play it is how, what you know, will dictate how you survive in this business. Yeah. So I decided to step away from that. And those, in that, that, that part of it, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to say, I'm going to just run everything on my own, deal with people. And I've been very cool. I've been, I've been good doing it. The way that I'm doing it now has been very, has been very cool for me. Yeah. I don't have to deal with people trying to shice you and get over on you. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. don't give you, you know, because it's your talents that they're making the money off of, but they're making the majority of the money. It's yeah. like, dude. Yeah, that's yeah. not cool. That's not right. Yeah, but that's how it's set up. Yeah. So to them, it's like, well, hey, this is what the engine is. So you know, <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, because yeah, it's that's how it, everyone else is doing it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you love what you watched, there's over a hundred artists that we've interviewed. So please check out the videos. Remember to like, share. How not unsubscribe, but better still, become a member of Halftime Chat and get exclusive videos ahead of time. But thanks for watching, take care.